Hi, this is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial, bringing you more useful landscape tips to help improve our environment. Today, I'm featuring a really cool native tree. This is fringe tree. Cianethus virginicus. Now this is a tree that is uh, native more to the southeast but grows really well here in the northeast as well. I'm here at the New York Botanical Garden for example and um, it's looking pretty terrific. Now this is a beautiful tree that blooms in the spring. It's now May and uh, it's in full bloom and the tree is one of these dioecious uh, trees, a plant that has either male or female plants. Now on occasion you will also find a plant that has perfect flowers, but that's fairly unusual. So if you're interested in this tree, make sure to ask for male and female tree at your nursery. Now, fringe tree grows anywhere from 12 to 25 feet tall, and it's uh, typically multi-stemmed as you can see. Fringe trees' beautiful lacy white blooms are thought to be bee pollinated, but there's not a lot of uh, data to support exactly which pollinators um, are important to this plant. In the late summer, these beautiful blossoms are followed by black, bluish uh, droops, fruits that are really uh, relished by many of our native birds. But keep in mind that fruits will only be produced on the female plants. Fringe tree is also a larval host to a number of Lepidoptera species, including the fringe tree sallow moth and a number of sphinx moth species. Makes it a particularly useful ecological plant. If you're interested in growing fringe tree, make sure to ask the nursery for both male and female plants. Place them in full sun to part sun condition in moist soil and you're going to have a beautiful plant that's a native throughout the growing season. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful tips please visit www.ecobeneficial.com.